You shouldn't do the carnivore diet if. Hey, what's shaking bacon? My name is Bruno Pinucci. I hope you're doing well. So a lot of people are interested in doing the carnivore diet. Some people have been trying it on and off for a long time because they have a hard time getting consistent with it. And other people uh, like myself eventually got to the point where I was able to get consistent with it and I don't have anything off a carnivore diet, not a lick, taste or bite. But it's not for everybody. As much as I like to feel like it's for everybody, it's not for everybody. So who are the exceptions? Well, it's interesting because it's really, in my opinion, anyone that the diet doesn't make them feel better. So I've had a lot of my health conditions turn around, not all, because obviously we all know I'm going in for open heart surgery in a couple of weeks, but it's turned the vast majority of my health conditions around. And I think I just needed more time to help heal that heart disease. But anyway, moving along, there's a lot of people who try this and they just, they struggle and it's just not for them. And maybe they're doing it wrong. And that's the one thing they always have to stop and reassess. Are you doing it right? Are you eating enough? Are you eating too much? Are you having mainly processed foods? So you have to ask yourself if this is the proper direction for you to go in. And sometimes the Facebook groups that you go on don't really offer the best advice. Sometimes people can be really harsh or really dogmatic about the carnivore diet. Now, just because I don't have anything off the carnivore diet doesn't mean I'm dogmatic about it. Um, I know there's people out there, uh, even some influencers who aren't strict carnivore. I mean like really strict. That doesn't bother me at all because not everyone wants to be strict. I have a friend who does carnivore and he's maybe 98% strict with it. He's fine with that. He just does it to feel good. And he gets enough benefits from being 98% strict that it doesn't bother him. So for me, I can't do that because if I have anything sweet, I'm gonna crave something sweet afterwards and I'm just gonna binge. Maybe not the one time, maybe not the second time. And that's where you fall into that false sense of security where you think, I'm cured, I don't have a sugar addiction anymore. And then maybe the third time, maybe the fifth time, it can happen to you. So first and foremost, if you're not feeling well doing it, assess what's not right. Is your energy off? Uh, do you uh, feel sluggish? Do you not sleep well? Are you constipated? Do you have diarrhea? What is it? You gotta expect diarrhea in the beginning because your body is flushing water. Your body's been holding on to water because of the carbohydrates in your body. So once you cut the carbohydrates out, your cells are gonna dump some water. So that's that water weight lots of people find they lose weight with in the very beginning of any diet. And it's just a little more extreme when you go zero carb. But usually that goes away within a couple of weeks. You can uh, manage that by maybe putting a little bit of dairy into your diet like cheese, or you can try just having leaner cuts of meat uh, that will usually like chicken, for example, that might constipate versus something that's higher fat because more fat will make you go to the bathroom. The dairy might slow down some weight loss in the long run, but if, but if it's helping you stick with carnivore, then do it. Have cream in there, have cheese, have anything, have yogurt, have kefir. Do what you need to to stick to the carnivore diet. But if you find it's causing some kind of discomfort, well, reach out. Talk to a more experienced carnivore. Kelly Hogan offers coaching sessions for people who are interested in upping their carnivore game, whether they're brand new to it or they just need to have someone help be accountable to or have someone that can help them uh, race to another level of carnivore and that they can um, do what they need to to succeed with carnivore. So finding a carnivore coach out there might not be a bad idea for someone who's struggling with carnivore. They're out there. Uh, Sean Baker has Rivero.com. You can go to Rivero and there's lots of carnivore coaches there. There's no one diet that fixes everybody. There just isn't. I think the vast majority of people who can do a carnivore diet and find out how to do it properly will do really well. Maybe uh, they need to lay off the processed foods for a little bit, but overall, I think it helps most people when they go low carb, not just for weight loss. That's not what I'm talking about, though that can be included in there. I think it's really good for people just to help with arthritic and joint pain. It does make you feel a lot younger when you eat carnivore. And over time, uh, it helps manage all your health conditions. I've had the vast majority of my health conditions go into remission. And I say remission because they're not cured, they're in remission. And when I go back to a carbohydrate diet, one day, if that was to ever happen, which I seriously doubt, if I was to ever go back to it, I know I can't manage those carbohydrates and I binge. So I know those health conditions would come back because I just can't moderate. And someone might listen to this and say, well, you know, everything in moderation. That doesn't work with addictions. That doesn't apply to people with addictions. Most everyone has some kind of an addiction. Maybe it's to exercise, maybe it's to cigarettes, smoking, drugs. Maybe they're healthy addictions. 
but often addictions are recognized when they're bad addictions. If the carnivore diet isn't working for you, reach out. Find someone who's seasoned and experienced with it. I've been doing it a few years myself, uh, very strict. I've been doing it since 2018, so we're looking at eight years uh, where I was doing it, but I wasn't consistent with it. And I found when I was off the carnivore diet, I was way off the carnivore diet. So, and that was even after my pre-existing heart attack. So when I started carnivore, I had these hills and obstacles to climb. I didn't realize I had a sugar addiction. I knew that was a thing, but I didn't realize the depth of it. And if that's really what you're struggling with, that's a whole other level. And that's where I highly recommend somebody like Kelly Hogan, who really understands addiction. She's a very strict carnivore, extremely strict. She still does things on a carnivore diet that I can't do. Like she has an oopsie cake and she has some treats that are carnivore friendly, but to me, it's too close to say have that oopsie cake because it's like a lot of whipped cream and and you know there's carnivore pizza out there and all these different things and I just can't do it. It's too close to the original. After doing that, I'd probably have it a lot and then I would probably turn around and just want to order the pizza or I'd have those cravings to do that. And I just don't trust myself. So I'm staying away from those things, especially not until I get extremely healthy. And once that day comes, then I might start opening it up a little bit that way. But for the most part, I, I just trust that I can't do that. I don't trust myself. You have to expect a hurdle when you start something like a carnivore diet. It's a different way of eating. Any way of eating is a different way of eating than what you're used to. So if you're used to a standard American diet and you become a vegan, well, you're gonna have a phase in the beginning where you may not feel so good. And the same thing happens with anything that you change in your life. There's gonna be a transition period. So once you get over that, that's when it's time to start looking in, going a little bit deeper and a little more strict, should you need to, if you're not getting the results you want. and Try getting some feedback. Always ask for feedback from more experienced people who are further down the road than you are. Never underestimate the power of finding someone that you relate to in the carnivore space and reaching out to them. Worst case scenario, they don't reply. Um, if they're a professional like Kelly Hogan, you'll definitely hear a response. Uh, she, she offers coaching classes at $50 a month. You'll spend as much on Kelly Hogan's coaching sessions that you might at a restaurant or two over a period of a month. Think about the money you'll save doing something like that. Kelly Hogan has been a carnivore for over 15 years. Let's stop and think about that. Over 15 years of strict carnivore and she's doing incredibly well. So I want you to respect the fact that not everyone is on the same path as you. Not everyone is in the same fast lane as you or the slow lane as you. But we all need to build each other up. We're going in one direction and most importantly, more importantly than carnivore, our direction is to gain health, to gain our life back. And if that's because you're cutting out carbohydrates for sugar addiction, or that's because you need to lose weight, or you want to increase your performance day to day, or have better sleep, whatever it is, you're trying to increase your health. The road we happen to be on is a carnivore road. And there's people in the fast lane and people in the slow lane. So just respect all that. Anyway, thanks a lot. I'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.